Hello and welcome back to another video. Yes, I promised them I was going to get another bike and, and I did do. It, take a take, it took a quite a while to do it to be honest. I mean, um, with um, this pandemic that's going on, bikes are selling out fast, there's none, none available. So then I put, I put a thing on Facebook saying, um, oh, so frustrating, I can't get a bike, I can't even get a bike. My old bike, my um, rally bike was basically all the bearings were on the way out, the wheels were bent. Well, they were going like that through the, um, when I was riding it, and if I went over a certain bump, the wheel would flick to the left and jam up. So um, I put a little thing out, and then an ex-work colleague of mine, a great lady, she said, oh, I've got this hybrid bike. And if you don't know, a hybrid bike is basically a road bike and a mountain bike in one, basically, so it's good for all different terrains, as long as you're not going down massive mountains, then you obviously need a proper mountain bike, but I got this, went down to see it, um, and I thought, yeah, I like it, and it was only a hundred pound, um, so let's get to it, um, see if uh, let's show you what it's all about. So yes, here is my new my new mountain bike or hybrid bike, as I should say. It's a uh, originally, it, I mean, it, the, I'm told these tires are um, wearing thin but they're not too expensive to to, um, to change and the only thing I don't like is um, I don't like these they're very thin so you need a special pump that, I, that the lady um, Caroline gave me um, but I think if I change the tyres I'll probably change the inner tubes and I'll probably get a normal um, valve to pump it up because I just, I just use it I don't like that kind of valve it does have quick release, which is great for when you're going in and out of your uh, in and out of your car. Uh, um, it does come with a uh, V brakes. I mean, a lot of people now are doing disc brakes, and I spent ages find out what's better, V brakes or disc brakes. And a lot of people say disc brakes are great um, are great in the wet because they don't mess up, but they're hard to change the pads apparently. A lot of um, endurance riders and all these riders who do Tour de France and like that, they, I watched a few videos of them tell, speaking about um, what they prefer and they all said they prefer V-brakes and they're cheap to, to um, replace pads and stuff like that. So I went for the V-brake one. I could always change to the, um, the um, disc brakes if I want to. These are 28 inch wheels, the others are 26 ones so the difference is immense. Um, now I don't know what this uh, the, the make is that are, but someone says it's a rally. But I've googled it, I can't find the emblem. So if you know um, what it is, put a um, let me know in the in the comments below. Let me know if it if it is a rally or what it is, so I know because I'd like to know actually what brand of bike I've got. Um, girlfriend got me this red bell because it, on my old bike, uh, basically I, I said if I could, it, it wouldn't fit on my old bike. So I had to go, hello, coming through, excuse me, and all that stuff, and the people kept going, a few people kept, a few people kept saying to me, um, where's your bell? And I had to say it's in the post, because it was in the post. And I felt like a right knob. So as soon as she got me this, and I got this bike, I put that on. It's not the best bell, obviously, but um, it does the job for now. And I might get an old fashioned bell, old fashioned dingling bell. Um, I've put these on obviously for my old bike because if I do have to go out in the in the dark, at least I've got um, people can see me. These Shimano ones are like these. The other ones I had had a little twisty thing here. These are better because you've got the um, different shifter ones, 21 gears. I had 15 gears last time, but in retrospect, it's probably only about eight gears because some of my gears didn't work on my old bike. So I had about eight gears, so basically I almost tripled my gear my gear ratio, which is great. As I said, it's a it's a hybrid bike, which means the tyres aren't as thick. Mountain bike ones are about that thick. Um, road ones are about that thick, so this is in between. Like I said, the V-brakes, they're easy to, to replace. These um, these pads are easy to replace, it won't bloody focus. Very easy to replace, very easy to replace the cables as well. Um, this seat, I don't really like it, my ass isn't big enough for that. So I've ordered, an, I've, I've, um, I've got another saddle for my old bike, but thickness is too um, is too wide for the pole that I got, and so I ordered another pole. I measured it wrong, got it. I thought yes, it was wrong one. 
so I've ordered another one up with in that size which is um 20 I think it's 20 27.2 um mil which is which people think oh why does it really matter it does matter to a point because this bracket here this bracket here can only tighten so much with against this otherwise it'll about ruin it so I did tighten as much as I could with the other one and it just went it went straight down um it did have these foot shoe things for your toes but I prefer that like that because I just prefer to be able to take my foot off it and put it on the floor rather than just slide it out. This is fully adjustable you, um, depending on the height you want it the, and how far away you want the handlebars. Um, it did come with these but I might replace these so I can, uh, they're a bit wide, I, I want to do it so I can rest my palm on it. It'd be a nicer comfy ride because a lot of hybrid ones now come out like that. But these are good for now. It is a lot lighter than the other bike, probably half the weight. Obviously you've got all the um, the gears down there. Part, the only problem is, is that when it's on the lowest gear, which is down there, when it's on the lowest gear down there, it rubs against this metal um, thing. So if I have the bottom ring there, I only have six gears, but who cares? I can use the other gears when it's when I'm on a, when I'm on a higher gear on the big ring. Um, it, it's really great. I love it. Um, good bike, and for a hundred quid, us um, why not? I moved things from my old bike onto this bike. I took off the the tyres and inner tubes off my old bike because they were only doing about hundred miles on something like that. And I sold those on eBay. I took the brakes off my old bike. My old bike and sold those as well, all to the same person for about 30 quid all of it so effectively th this bike basically cost me 70 quid because um, obviously I paid 100 and I got 30 quid back the money it's got me suspension, I've never had suspension before on a bike the other one was a rigid bike which means it's solid metal, there's no movement um, it is weird getting used to it because um, the vibration from, from the floor from the, it takes vibration but you can feel the vibration in your arms so it does ache your arms a little bit, but you just get a bit used to it. But it is good because it takes a bit more of the, the oomph out of the, out of the knockings and the bumps in the, of the floor and ground, everything like that. Um, can't wait to get to um, get the new pole on there so I can get my original um, saddle on it, because um, um, I keep sliding off off the off the uh, saddle and I have to push my ass back up it. And the other one was perfect for me. I never slid anywhere. Obviously, I put my water bottle on. Um, yeah, it's a great bike. Love it, and uh, hopefully this will see you through. Um, I was a bit dubious about the minimal, um, the minimal spokes on here, and eventually I might get it. I may, because I've still got the, cause I've got the cable. I might get different cables, and I might, um, if I get new wheels for these, what I'll probably do is I probably will upgrade to um, disc brakes. So because you have to, because if you get, you can't just put disc brakes on these, you've got to get new wheels that have the screwing holes, you've got the discs on, and they can, then the cable come, runs down there, and um, yeah, I might just do that. When I need to get new tyres, um, I may, I may, I may even do it then. I may replace the whole thing when I need new tyres, but for new wheels, tyres, inner tubes, it's probably about 100 quid for all that, for two set of back and front, so I may do that. I have got um, like a chest harness now as well, and, and a head harness, and I've also just got um, this, uh, this, so I can put this on my, uh, on like, on there or something, and I can point it up where I'm going, and obviously see me and the, the effort I'm putting into riding, make it a bit more interesting, also good for when I'm a motorbike, I can put it on my motorbike, th um, things that you've got on my head, on the view of my, uh, of my um, helmet and you've got to view, uh, do a view of me and make it a bit more interesting, my, um, the, the rides rather than just being, just not seeing me or, or anything like that because the whole part of this, um, of, the, uh, of my YouTube channel and to show things that show who I am, the effort I'm putting in and the enjoyment I'm having of um, making videos for you guys and also for me to look back in years and go, oh my god I can't believe I did that. Did you like the um, Did you like the bike? Do you think it was a good buy for a hundred pound? A few people have said it, it, that um, it was a good buy, um, and why not for hundred quid? You, I mean, you need to get a decent bike nowadays. You want to buy a decent bike, you need to spend about 400, 500 and upwards to get a decent bike that's going to last. So this is good for for the time being. This. Um, 
hope you like this video um, and thanks for the current new subscribers I hopefully you like my um my uh, my videos i do if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and i also put a link down below of the, my new podcast that i'm doing with my two american friends Lindsay and maggie if you want to look at that down below it's called um we used to be roommates because we all did in, in la and hence why i have that because i love it i like la reminds me of them and it reminds me of what i've done in my life um, like i said my, my tattoo video lies what you make it i went to la met two amazing girls and still friends even now over 10 years on so um, like i said if you, don't, if you could subscribe to this channel subscribe to that podcast channel i've also got um some uh, clothing brand coming soon that I'm, I'm working on i'm very um proud of the progress i'm doing i've ordered some um hoodies and t-shirts um for me to try and to promote um it's something that i think will work it's a good slogan um so check it out and uh, I'll see you all soon for hopefully another video that you guys will enjoy. Bye-bye.